Hello everybody, this is Cheeseburger Jesus, and welcome back to Hello Charlotte. Log 12. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we're supposed to be going to that mystery floor. This place looks deserted. Are you sure it's okay to be wandering around here? Don't worry about it. Let's look if we can find shelter here. Alright, so I'll just go to the first building I see then. Oh, I don't know. Welcome! Oh, customer, you seem troubled, I can sell. How about I sell you women's right with a women's rights with a 10% discount? You'll get gender identity rights as a free extra. Or would you prefer freedom of speech? If you give up your rights to life, you can get many other ones with the points you earn. Let's leave. Okay. So I have to walk the roads sometimes. This shopkeeper looks surprisingly er this shopkeeper looks surprisingly normal. Wait until they suggest you living food. Sounds promising, although I don't have my wallet with me. Is it a pharmacy? No, no, you've got it all wrong. Welcome to the shop of knowledge. Did you know? Knowledge is produced to be sold. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Nobody cares about that anymore. Everyone's starving, hungry for information. New, old, hidden, forgotten, second-hand knowledge. I've got it all in these bills. But you're minus, so I can't sell you any. How about distilled knowledge orange-flavored chewable tablets instead? I think we'll pass. Thank you for your time. Something's wrong? Well, it says religion on the entrance. But no matter how I look at it, it's just a department store. Oh, silly customer. Did you really think there was supposed to be something else? The religion of modern age is capitalism and banks are its churches. Anyhow, do you need anything you'd need? I don't have any cash, sorry. Not a problem, the money altar is right over here. The what? The altar! ATM! Don't tell me you've never heard of it. Ah, now I see. Sorry, we don't really need anything. Thank you for your service. Come again, I'll be praying for you at the local bank. I think his voice changed like three times. Well, welcome. We have everything you might need. Let's see, let's see. Anti procrastination socks? Anxiety using protein shake? No. Then how about panic attack prevention band aids? Nifty, right? What do you think? How about I give you a membership card as an extra? Sorry, we don't have any money. Then why did you enter the shop? Dumb teenagers. I don't get paid for wasting time on you. Get lost. So, uh, can I get to that house? I'm gonna find out. That would be a no. A strong no. Well, this is the only place we have to go. Seems like there's no place for us here. Let's see what's ahead then. Also, where the dra- sh should I? Whoa, no, okay. Hold on. I gotta- It used the dress anyways, so. Okay, so the dress did nothing. Well, eyes ahead is a maze. Suddenly, I feel weak in my knees. <coughs> the next moment, I lose my balance in a coughing fit. I see crutches beside me. Are you okay? No, I just... 
remembered something. This maze reminded me of it. Must have been a painful memory. Can you stand? Sure, don't mind me. Okay. Um... Art gotcha. One time use cards inside play? Yes, please. Young gods. Don't hinder. Alright, so I can just go through here and get a whole bunch of whole lot of art. My goal is to get the art. We got more of the same thing. Night gaming. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting to look at. I said that, but that didn't mean give me more. By the way, how long have you been with Seth? Well, he was assigned to me when I turned in. I see. I was thinking that your puppeteer is a little unusual. Why so? You see, as far as I remember, there are four types of them. Adam, Eve, Seth, and Lilith. Adam is incredibly masculine. Eve is gentle and family-oriented. Seth is the wisest. Lilith, Lilith is the most strict of them all. Usually, it's either Eve or Lilith who gets assigned to girls. It's no wonder that a male puppeteer is watching over you. Or, it's a wonder that a male puppeteer is. <laughs> Seth is special in many ways, I guess. Oh, I found the end of the maze. Alright, well, I'll get these two. I won't go back and get the other ones. I'll just get these two. Let's look at them. Don't hinder. Please don't hinder my sleep. Aww. Sleeping. Aww. Night gaming. <laughs> that seems about right. And young gods. Okay. Um, smaller cubes. I think they're soul offerings. Not only does a cube contain soul data, it also represents the ego of a person. I don't like this. Cubes are massive. Fascinating. Can you read what's hidden, written here? Let's see. Memorials for anonymous leaders, the true rulers of the world. Seems like it's no place for us to stay, too. Oh, nope. Rewind. Rewind point. The smell is so strong I cover my mouth and nose. C does the same. I wonder who these people were. They're all failures. The victims of the trial, most likely. But the trials don't kill people. In a way, they don't. What do you mean? Haven't you heard? If your cube gets formatted, you'll become empty. What'll be left is an empty shell devoid of personality. A hollow human. You'll become no more than your puppeteer's mute self-insert. You'll keep doing quests, opening boxes, and running around until you eventually collapse. Then you'll be buried here. As garbage of the society. Oh, shoot. Um... Okay, I assume... Okay, what's the tree, then? Over here. People are hanging on the tree branches. It's a suicide spot. This is not... I do not like this. Let's continue, shall we? Is something wrong? I thought the outside world would be a brighter place. Maybe we should go back after all. 
go back to that place so that we would be mixed with dirt again if we stay here we'll be okay if we hit hide in the fog we'll be okay we'll be okay see so let's go back C lets out a bitter laugh then he looks at me the world that's reflected in your eyes must be a wonderful place it must be a very kind world full of color but it's not the world that I see to me it's a bleak disgusting place even the air here is unpleasant believe me this contaminated land isn't a place we belong to but where can we go isn't it obvious C points at the sky I, I don't understand I found a way to go back to my initial form C brings out something it's a pack of pills Oh lord. Okay, turn down that music, it got loud. I took these from the infirmary. The amount we'll have to intake is rather big, but I've made sure there's enough for two. Eh? You still don't get it. Sorry, must be my bad choice of words. How do I say that? Dagnabbit music. How do I say this? I... He stumbles on his words. They come out a bit shakily, but his smile is still present. I want to take you with me to my heavenly domain. We will get rid of our heavy bodies and rise above all earth dwellers. We will become the ones to purify this world. Will you accept, Charlotte Wiltshire? I want it to be your decision, not somebody else's. I don't want to hurt C's feelings. I don't want to hurt C. But wouldn't going with him mean I'll leave everybody behind? I'll leave it to you, Seth. If it's you, you'll surely know what to do. Oh. Um... Sure? I hope your decision is the right one, Seth. I take C's hand. I... I accept. Really? You do? I do. Let's go. To your heavenly kingdom in the skies. C replies in a soft voice. Thank you. To be honest, I would have never gathered the courage to do this alone. This human body and mind of mine are so fragile that they crumble at the slightest worry. I take the pills. Soon, they will put me to sleep. Don't worry, C. From now on, you'll never be alone. He takes my hand, it's trembling. Loneliness is such a human emotion. Yet all this time, it's been tearing me apart. Soon, I'll lose the virtue to be able to experience it. I feel myself nodding off. We wish each... We wished each other sweet dreams and closed our eyes, sitting in comfortable silence. Some time later, two bodies would be found in the forest, two empty shells devoid of soul data. They would soon become part of a bigger pile of meat, eventually dissolving into soil fertilizers for a world we're part of no longer. We will ascend to the heavens and become cruel gods with little concern for earthly matters. We would laugh over our miserable human lives, realizing how little they meant on the scale of the whole universe and of endless timelines. It's a happy ending. Happy end, ignorant bliss. Well, I guess that that's actually a happy ending, I guess. So, I guess that's all I have to record for today. It was an extremely short video. So... This is Cheeseburger Jesus, signing out. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!